Hey, what's up? I have all these um, tinders here uh, that are used for starting a fire. Uh, and I want to go through them all and sort of talk about them and then I'm also going to do a test and see how long they burn for and how effective they really are. I want to try lighting each one with a match and also with a fire steel to see if it will uh, take a spark. So uh, from right to left here uh, I have got this uh, fire starter that I picked up from the dollar store. It's just uh, sawdust and wax together in sort of a cube I guess. Uh, never used this before but um, it's worth a try. It was certainly cheap enough. Uh, here are cotton balls with Vaseline uh, and I will probably make a video about uh, how these are made but it's super easy really cheap and these things uh, are really good this is my go-to fire starter I, I basically keep like uh, a bag with maybe 15 or 20 of these guys in my uh, fire starting kit that I've showed you before also I have some lint saved out of the dryer just in a ziploc bag um, I've heard that that is good at catching a spark and holding a flame for a little while. And the last thing I have here is uh, fat wood um, that was given to me as part of some firewood that I purchased last time I went camping. Um, or actually not last time, but a, a while ago. And uh, yeah, so this is basically resin impregnated pine wood. Um, and I guess what happens is when a pine tree is cut down, the stump doesn't know that it's dead. So it continues sort of pumping resin into the stump. People find it, they harvest it, and then they sell it. Uh, the other thing I have here is some old man's beard uh, that I gathered when I went backpacking probably two or three weeks ago. At that time, uh, I tried it out on the trail and uh, it would not take a spark from the uh, fire steel. I'm gonna give it a try now. So every tinder source here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to ignite it with the fire steel, see if that works. Uh, if that doesn't work, I will use the matches as a backup plan. And also I have a uh, timer here on my cell phone. So I will time how long it burns for and I'll report back. Okay, uh, first up is this um, sawdust and wax stuff that I got from the dollar store. I'm gonna try to hit it with the fire steel, see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna use the Openel number eight uh, for this. Uh, this is an awesome fire steel knife. Uh, what you want is a knife with a very, very sharp back on it. If this is rounded, it's not going to work with the fire steel. Oh, it caught fire. <clears throat> okay, so that's, uh, I'm going to set my timer now and see how long this thing burns for. Five minutes. Hey, we are over, we're over 12 minutes now, and that, um, that fire starter, uh, sawdust and wax is still going strong. That's amazing. So 13, 13 minutes is what I got out of that, uh, dollar store fire starter. That's amazing. Uh, that's a lot more than I thought I was going to get. They, they say on the inside that you should use like three or two or three, three or four kind of thing to start a fire one of those is plenty half of that is plenty you know if i had six minutes or seven minutes i could build a fire no problem here we have the uh dryer lint um i'm gonna bust it up just a little bit here to create a bit of surface area but obviously the more you break it up the faster it's going to burn so that's sort of a consideration uh i've got the open aisle here with my fire seal kind of dirtied up now but uh good to go Okay, it has taken a flame, so the timer is running, we'll see how it does. Okay, it's out now, uh, about a minute and 45 seconds is what that gave us. Okay, here we have the uh, old man's beard that I got when I was backpacking. It's uh, been sitting on my balcony for a couple weeks now, drying out. So I'm gonna try breaking it up here, creating a lot of surface area. Because I think that that's fairly important when you have a, um, a tinder that is not very cooperative. I think creating surface area can help sometimes. So I've kind of busted it up here. And uh, let's give it a try with the, uh, with the fire steel and see what happens.
Oh, it's going. That's awesome. Let's hit the timer here, see what we got. Okay, still going. Uh, we're at around 45 seconds now. I'll keep sticking the match out. I'll put the match out, then stick it back in there. It's hard to tell if it's still going, but if it burns the match, then I guess it is, right? Um, so despite my best efforts, it's pretty much done. Uh, that took, that lasted at best about 45 seconds, probably less than that. I would give it 30 seconds if you're really being very realistic. So the, uh, the old man's beard, uh, not only does it have to be very dry, uh, but it doesn't give you a lot of time. So you can definitely see that natural tinder is a bit of a stretch. You definitely have to have some good skills and good preparation to make that work for you. Okay, next up is the fat wood. Uh, I'm going to carve off some uh, slivers of this. Uh, I don't want to burn the whole thing necessarily. So let me just try uh, making some shavings here. Okay. All right, so I got my pile ready there. I'm going to hit it with the sparks and see what happens. Okay, I finally got it to catch there with the uh, fire steel. So I will uh, start my timer, see how it goes for. That took a, a lot of strikes from the fire steel. Um, so it's definitely a good thing that I created some shavings, created some surface area. Uh, we'll see how long it burns for now. But you can see that stuff, once it gets going, it really goes. Around three minutes now, that flame is starting to get smaller. Okay, it's out. Um, that was about three minutes and 15 seconds, more or less. Um, and here is uh, the fat wood again. Those were some shavings off the end of it. Uh, so I would say out of one piece of fat wood, you're probably going to get... Um, four or five fires depending on how much you use. Okay, here is the cotton balls with Vaseline. Uh, I've got it all ready here. I got my timer ready. I'm gonna try to hit it with the sparks and see what happens. Oh, not yet. Okie dokie, I think it's going now. Okay, we just hit uh, seven minutes and there's still the smallest little flame you can see there, but it's pretty much done. Uh, just to review, in order of uh, burn time, this was the best, this uh, sawdust and wax. I was super surprised by that. I didn't think that was gonna last that long at all. And they're just these little cubes here. Um, they smell kind of like uh, perfumed, actually. It's kind of weird, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. That was, I think, like 13 minutes or longer than that. The uh, cotton balls with the Vaseline, I uh, got about seven minutes out of those, so that was awesome. Uh, next, I think, was the fatwood. I uh, created a pile of shavings, not that big really, and I got about three minutes out of that, more or less, uh, maybe a bit more. Th then the next was the uh, dryer lint. I think that was about 90 seconds or something, around two minutes maybe at, at best. And then the last was the old man's beard, uh, which was only, I think, around a minute or something, or maybe 45 seconds. So you can see that uh, sort of there is a chain of command here and uh, I guess it's more or less uh, expense per fire that uh, dictates how long it'll last. These, uh, this one you get 12 cubes for a dollar, so maybe around 80 or 8 cents each or something like that, am I right? Yeah, maybe 8 or 10 cents each or something like that, you get uh, 13 minutes. The cotton balls, I would say they're probably closer to 5 cents each or, or thereabouts, uh, you get 7 minutes. The um, the fatwood, uh, it says it's 50 cents for two sticks. Um, I don't know how you would really calculate that out, but I, I think it's probably about the same price as the cotton balls, more or less, per fire or something like that. The dryer lint is free, um, so you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, I think that was around 90 seconds or something like that, maybe two minutes. Uh, the old man's beard, of course, is free as well, um, and you got only 45 seconds or something out of that. 
So I would say that uh, you know the skill level uh, in needed to get something like this to work is huge. You know, you need to find it. It needs to be dry. You need to be able to ignite it. You need to be able to just know what burns in nature and what you can take. What can take a spark. So I'm definitely not at the skill level yet where I would depend on something like this to get me a fire. Uh, nor would I take the dryer lint. Uh, you know that's not good enough. But either either of these three, um, I think, are excellent choices. Uh, I'm going to stick with the cotton balls and Vaseline for a while. But my next trip, maybe I'll take one of these blocks out and see how that does. Uh, maybe another trip, I'll take the pine wood, but um, or the fat wood. Sorry, but I'm always going to have more than one you know, way to start a fire, like multiple ignition sources without a doubt. Uh, in my fire kit I always have matches, a lighter, fire steel. Uh, I only carry one kind of tinder, but uh, maybe I'll switch it up, carry a little bit more, some something different. It's always good to experiment and sort of see what you're capable of and, you know, what your gear is capable of.